ഫേക്കോ എമൽസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഐഡിഡോ കൊറിയോറിറ്റിനൽ കൊലബമാറ്റസ് ഐ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഐ ഓഫ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ഇയർ ഓൾഡ് മെയിൽ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ഹു കെയിം വിത്ത് കംപ്ലൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡെമിനേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഫിഷൻ സിൻസ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് സിക്സ് മന്ത്സ് ഓൺ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഹി വാസ് ഡയഗ്നോസ്ഡ് വിത്ത് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഐ ന്യൂക്ലിയസ് കൊലറോസിസ് ഗ്രേറ്റു വിത്ത് ഐഡിഡോ കൊറിയോറിറ്റിനൽ കൊലബോമ a clear coronal incision is made with the crescent blade two side port incisions are made anterior chamber is entered using 2.8 mm developed keratom injection phenocaine is injected into the anterior chamber here you can appreciate the colpomatous lens infrotemporally air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber trypan blue is injected into the anterior chamber by double bubble technique to stain the anterior capsule high molecular weight obd such as orogel or viscoat is injected into the anterior chamber this high molecular weight obd will provide tamponading effect to the colobomatous area this tamponade effect prevents any chance of vitreous disturbance and entry into the anterior chamber with the 26 gauge bent cystitome the capsular excess is initiated and care is taken to complete the capsular excess especially in the colobomatous area as there are chances of capsular excess extension in the area of the coloboma the utrata forceps is used to complete the capsular excess careful minimal hydro dissection is performed as there are chances of aqueous misdirection to happen through the defect multiple hydro delineation is performed high molecular weight obd is injected slow motion phaco chop technique is preferred to prevent stress on the zonules high molecular weight obd is injected and simultaneously and slowly the phaco probe is removed from the anterior chamber this prevents sudden collapse of the anterior chamber and thereby disturbing the vitreous cortex aspiration is initiated from the site diametrically opposite to the colobomatous area cortex is aspirated with bimanual irrigation aspiration technique at the end cortex from the colobomatous site is also aspirated the irrigation aspiration probe is removed simultaneously with high molecular weight viscoelastic injection anterior chamber and back is formed with high molecular viscoelastic before implanting the iol it is ensured that the posterior lens capsule is intact and there is no vitreous disturbance single piece iol is placed in the back the high molecular weight obd is washed side ports and the main ports are hydrated Intracameral antibiotic is injected. Take home points. Iridoc chorioretinal colobomas have zonal dialysis in the colobomatous area. Dispersive viscoelastic substances should be preferred over cohesive viscoelastic substances. They help in providing 1 tamponade effect in the colobomatous area and number 2 protection against capsular excess extension. Boundaries of ALC in the colobomatous area should be well identified to avoid capsular excess extension. Careful minimal hydro dissection should be performed to prevent aqueous misdirection. 
slow motion phaco chop technique should be preferred to prevent stress on the zone wound. High molecular weight OVD should be injected simultaneously with removal of instruments like phaco probe or irrigation aspiration cannula to prevent sudden shallowing of the anterior chamber. Cortex aspiration should be initiated from the site diametrically opposite to the colbomatus area. Cortex from the colbomatus area should be aspirated in the end. Thank you.